Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today here again at FFG. We're super excited to uh, be joined with our two guests, which I will talk about in a second, to play some games. Well, a game, but we'll be a playing. A scenario in a game. A, a scenario in a game, not multiple games. Forgive me. At least not on camera. Right, exactly. <laughs> Once the camera's down, we do whatever we want here. There you go. It's, it's crazy. So, you may all recognize Caleb Grace, one of our senior game designers here, and the designer of Marvel Champions. Yeah, this one's my fault. So, well, this particular <laughs> scenario, one of the designers for the game. True. There's lots of blame to go around. Lots. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it that, but sure, sure. Uh, so yeah, you all know Caleb. You've seen Caleb on live streams. For those who haven't been to Gen Con 2019, oh gosh, what's it? Really that was the ago? last time you probably <laughs> saw people face to face. Uh, this is Peter Schumacher. Hello. Peter is our marketing writer, and notice there how I didn't say like Caleb here, one of the designers. He's not one of the writers. He is the writer. <laughs> the marketing writer. So any of the articles that you see for any of our content. Peter's the one, not to blame for that, but to thank for that. 100%. That's me. That's so, me. yeah, and we're excited to have Peter here. Peter, you, I mean, you play tested this game well before it was released. I did play test for the core set. Yeah. Yes. So, and you've, I, I mean, you've been playing it the entire time. Pretty much, yeah. A lot more than most, probably. Yes, though I would not call myself an expert by any means, so I apologize for any slightly less than optimal plays that might happen. I'm gonna yeah. be judging hard from over here. <laughs> well, I know you will be. I just don't mostly want the to. cover for my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That works. Ah, I like that. Throw that's... shade so that nobody sees what <laughs> right. you've done. Real Speaking quick, while we're looking over there, I'm gonna fix hand. my board state. Yeah, it is in my hand. There You're the one that put it on the table. Come on, Peter. <laughs> Speaking so it of begins. Mistakes. All right. <laughs> so this, this is co-op, guys. Gonna be, this co is gonna be exactly. Good. We're working this together. Good. We are a team here. No matter <laughs> how we may act towards one another, <laughs> we are on the same team. So um, really quickly before we get into gameplay, we do have something that we're gonna announce at the end of the stream that we think is super fun. Peter's gonna tell you a little bit more about it then. Yep. But the main content of this stream is just gonna be us playing the second scenario in Mutant Genesis. Mm -hmm. So Project Wide Awake. Yep. And it's very cool because anybody who's been paying attention from Gen Con till now, you've probably seen a lot of the information for the first scenario. Yeah. So this is all gonna be new and exciting for anybody watching today and kind of, you know, get you a taste of what's coming when the box is out and you get to play through the full campaign yourself. Box is technically because we have True. Some other things that we're showing True. Off today. That's right. So we'll go around the table and talk about who we're playing. And when I say talk about, I mean just mention who you're playing. Because we do have some fun stuff. Yeah, well you guys are kind enough to give me my favorite hero of all time. I will be playing Scott Summers, Cyclops. Gonna shoot some laser beams and lead the way. All right. There you go. I will follow <laughs> as Colossus or Peter, so. And even though my name is Peter, I'm playing <laughs> as Jean Grey, a.k.a. Phoenix, who will also, alongside Cyclops, be releasing with Mutant Genesis. Right. So you've probably seen articles on those two. Probably seen a little more content on Colossus and yes. Shadowcat since they're in the box. All right, so should we just jump right into this? Are we Is ready to go? Is this the first time people are seeing these uh, Cyclops and, and I mean, played? they've seen, first time they've seen it played, yes. Oh, they've yeah, seen right. the article. And cool. been able to see some of the unique cards and things yeah, that go along they with them. They saw some of their the cards from their from their decks in the article, um, but there are some that they haven't seen. Excellent. So we'll have to be sure to showcase some of them. Well, I'm going to start out right away by using my concentrating action. I'm going to go look for a uh, tactic upgrade that I can attach to an enemy. And I see that we have no enemies besides the Sentinel at the moment. So I'm going to grab... Practice defense. It's that a very was... small enemy. It's yeah. Not really <laughs> deal. I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. It's just a sentinel. I'm pretty sure Colossus could tank a few hits from one. Yeah. So let's. Uh, Do we want to put that on the sure. display? Sure. They might have seen this one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I can't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a list I, here that I'm not going to actually just sit and look through I through the entire screen. I literally made right? the list. And yeah. Anyway, that's going to go on sentinel. It's going to make a minus one attack until. Oh. Uh, that's helpful. Till Spice. the end of the villain phase, so that'll make life a little easier. Then I'm gonna drop down Angel. Is that, you guys just have to tell me if you want me to throw something up there. 
but I'm going to use effective leadership to pay for him. So he gets plus one thwart and plus one attack this turn, which is fun. And we have a lot to uh, thwart out there. So I'm going to flip over into my hero form. And let's see. He's got a tough status on him. Mm -hmm. yep. And Sentinel's we probably tough. want to focus. We could. Uh, We've got a lot of side schemes here. Yeah, we could maybe rescue. Do we get rescue Jubilee? Do we get her quickly? Yeah. Mutants at the mall. That one was for my friend. My friend like wrote me like uh, one of my playtester buddies. He was like, if I can't rescue Jubilee from the mall, <laughs> then I won't buy the box. That's uh, the story behind so, it. <laughs> so speaking of that, I know I've mentioned it to a few people that are here, and I will do my best not to hum it through the entire stream, oh, but gosh. I have a very specific 90s right. theme song in my head, how, how can and it's now? been in my head all day. And now it's in my yeah. head, thank you. You're welcome. That. So I guess I have to lives there rent free. <laughs> it's, uh, it's on repeat, it's on a loop. We have two requests. Two oh, requests. Can you explain the scenario a little bit? Oh, oh sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Second, they would like to see Angel as well. Oh, okay. yeah, I was no, going to mention that. We'll explain first. One at a time? One at a time, come on. <laughs> All right, yeah, sorry. I got so excited we just dove right in, but I yeah. suppose there's a lot here that's new. There, yeah, there's a yeah. lot going on. And we are going to try yeah. to get as far in this scenario as we can today um, within the limits. We're not leaving until we win, so I yeah. hope you guys play well. <laughs> We're uh, turning the stream <laughs> off before that, though. <laughs> Doesn't matter if cameras are rolling. <laughs> we got to rescue these mutants. So, yeah, this is the second scenario in the box. The villain is called Sentinel, and the main scheme is called uh, Knight of the Sentinels, which is a little homage to mm -hmm. maybe that show with the awesome theme song. Yep. Um, so what's going on here is Sentinels are hunting mutants and we need to rescue them. And uh, this one actually introduces a new loss condition through a modular set that is required when you play this scenario. And I think we spoiled this in an yes, article. Yes, we did. So Operation Zero Tolerance uh, starts the game in play in this scenario. The scenario gives it uh, you know, some text so that it can't leave play. Like normally in a different scenario, you could defeat it and it would go away. Mm -hmm. But here it's going to stay in play and whenever an ally is attacked and defeated by an enemy, then they're, they're uh, captured. Um, and if enough, uh, okay. if enough characters or cards are placed under there, we lose the game. So there's probably some other cards in here that are going to pressure us to, to put cards under there. Um, so yeah, we have mutants at the mall. If we defeat that, we'll flip it over and rescue Jubilee. She'll join our team. Um, and then we also have one copy of Abduction Protocols that starts in play. There are, I think, four in the deck, and there's four allies that go with it. So when you defeat this side scheme, you're going to rescue a random um, scenario-specific uh, mutant that will join your, your team. And in campaign mode, it's really fun because each one that you rescue then goes into the campaign pool. Yep. And then you can, so they're pretty punchy for their cost. They're really advantageous to, uh, to earn those. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's kind of how that goes. So I'll throw right. Angel up here. Angel. Um, Angel's a basic ally with the Ariel and X-Men trait. And kind of his, his main feature is that he's costed appropriately for his stats. But if you have the mutant or X-Men trait, then you reduce the cost of playing by one. So he only cost me two. So that's where the that's why yeah. only two that's came from. Yeah, and I don't know. I think we've spoiled this, but just in case, uh, the effective leadership is a nice combo when you're playing an ally. Then they get the boost to stats. So I'm going to go a little old school here and use teamwork, which is a reprint from the core. And I'm going to exhaust Cyclops and my pumped up Angel. He's not actually thwarting. He's adding. So there's no consequential damage here. So it's one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and rescue oh, Jubilee. Geez. Right off the bat. Yep, yep. So we're going to get Jubilee. I suppose we could throw up there. Yep. Uh, Who is yeah. coincidentally our Mutant Mondays for this. For this is that right? Oh, oh. Yeah, hey, she look was. at that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Well, there she is. She's a victory minus one. You don't want her to die. She will go to the victory display, but it's not a good thing. Uh, but she's got a cool power, right? She's got uh, kind of like plain stats, but she has this action. Exhaust Jubilee and spend an energy resource. Deal two damage to an enemy. So she can she can turn your leftover resources into damage without taking consequential damage. Yeah, in yeah. this case though, I think I'm going to use it the old-fashioned way, an exhauster, uh, just to ping off that tough status card from the Sentinel. Good call. Okay, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, I didn't shoot the Sentinel with my laser beam. Maybe I'll do that just for fun. I'm going to overpay for it, but I'd like to. Nice. So get three damage. Get him down to forty-five. All right. A <laughs> piece of cake. Yeah, right? Only 45 left. That's I can do that. Left. I can do that in a turn. <laughs> okay, not really. I forgot that you don't have to exhaust for that. That's pretty great. Right? Yeah, and that's the point. I just have to target an enemy with, uh, with, with an upgrade which attack. Is what this is for. Yep. All right. 
So let's see, what are we doing here? We are going to just flip on over to Colossus here. I'm gonna get a tough status for doing so because of my steel skin yep. response. Mm -hmm. And I am, jeez, X-Jet's really good. I don't wanna get rid of that. I don't wanna get, I gotta get rid of something because I want another tough status card real bad. Oh, sure. Do I? No, I don't Tots think... Tots at the event we were talking about earlier. That one? Yeah, yeah I don't really have anything for that one. right now. Yep. And there's two so, more in the deck. So Perseverance... There you go. ...will give me <laughs> another tough status card. Come up. How good does that feel? It feels great. Bring it. Spectacular. I love the art, too, where he's just standing there like, you can come at me all day. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Bullets just <laughs> bouncing off him. Colossus don't care. All right. Um... <laughs> I have too many good cards. I don't want to burn any of them, so this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I am going to do Made From Rage, so I'm going to make there a basic attack. When I make a basic attack, I discard a tough status. Right. Mm -hmm. And I get plus six attack for that attack, and it nice. gains overkill, which doesn't really matter right now. Yeah, just go ahead and apply do you, I just wanna do the eight damage. Eight damage. So do you play Organic Steel in response to that? Or is organic would a, Organic Steel be something you'd want organic to Organic Steel, first? if he had it on the table, he could he could trigger it to get the, so, that tough back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's after it's discarded. Mm -hmm. So this would have to be out Got it. and available. Yeah. I couldn't remember if yeah. it was an upgrade or an event. It's not a bad idea to get that on the table. It isn't a bad you idea. You got so many great cards. I, don't you? That's my problem. <laughs> They're all really good, and the X-Jet is spectacular, but I kind of yeah. want to discard it just for more Colossus shenanigans. Oh, man. Um, Although once that X jet's on the table, then you're giving everybody. Resources. I know, I know. It's Although really that, I think that's your only copy of Iron Will in your hand. That There's card, only one. Yeah, that card's bonkers. Good. Yeah, I, I would yeah, get yeah, that yeah. down. In fact, if you want to rewind the clock yeah, I might bit, rewind, rewind that. that. Just, just, just rewind. You know, I'm getting rid of the X jet. That's a cooperative game. We can do yeah. take backs. Use the one takesy bags in here. Oh, I guess you're only allowed one take. Yeah, just one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that to get Iron Will out. So my thwart is plus one. Actually, have we shown? People have probably seen this card. I don't card. know if we have. If you want to see the card, let me know. But otherwise, it's a plus one thwart. After a tough status is discarded from me, I draw a card. So, right. got rid of that. I yep. know we showed off titanium and that goes muscles. Away. Well, hand it here. We'll throw it. There's no harm yeah, in it. Yeah, just in case. We'll just throw it up. Besides, it's Colossus surfing on the X Jet. Who doesn't want to see that? <laughs> yeah, I, I wrote the Mute Genesis article so many months ago at this point. I can't yeah. remember which yeah. specific cards in it were shown off. You wrote the article forever and a day ago. You worked on this campaign forever <laughs> and a day plus ago. I was working on this when we all went Where? home at the outbreak of COVID. Jeez. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> okay. Yup. <laughs> all right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm happy. Cool. And I'm done. So did you get the card draw from this? Or it, yeah, I just, yep. okay. I just drew, and that's what I'm happy about. Another great card, but yep. makes me wish I still had maybe that. That <laughs> so, is two more in there. Yeah. I'm going to discard that to put out Cerebro. Might as well get that out there while I'm in, uh, alter, in ego. alter Ego form. Yeah. And then why not all use it to get myself awesome. an ally. But in the meantime, I'm going to discard that to throw a Telekinetic Shield on whichever of those two allies you think would it would be more Ooh. beneficial to have. character would take damage from enemy attack. Is it, um, you want to throw it on a, on a hero? Could just take attacks undefended? Well, heroes don't get abducted by Operation Zero Tolerance if they die. True. So... But if you, if you use your ally to defend, you're being targeted versus you can let it go undefended, and then you don't have to exhaust your ally to defend it. That is true. Yeah. You could throw it on on uh, on yourself or on any one of us. All right. Well then, I don't think he needs it because he's got tough. Yeah, uh, he's gonna be good. I'm tough. And I got yeah, I got. I'll take it. Pension. I'll take it. Yeah, I appreciate the uh, the team spirit. I'm just trying to play. I'm not used to that. The people <laughs> I play with are like. Teamwork. <laughs> I'm trying to play supportive. I'm also <laughs> trying to see what allies I have in this deck. Um. I see your your justice. I'm trying to remember. Yep, who I've got I've got Banshee. Uh, Marvel Girl. There's going to be a lot of Sentinels spawning in this. I feel like Marvel, yeah. Gir Marvel Girl being able to turn them to our advantage is probably going to be sure. useful. Though can I even afford her with what I have left in my hand? 
I can't, but that's okay. We can just use her later. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, wait, but I do have these. Oh, that's right. Yep, so, her, uh, her power. Which I might as well do. Yep, once per phase. Yep, spend awesome. one of those. Let's get Marvel Girl out there. Excellent. She's Don't got good thwart as well. She does. Don't have any minions currently. Oh, and that's right. So, Phoenix has the highest printed thwart. thwart of any hero. Aside from Ironheart in her uh, stage three. Right, but, but for starting out. But for starting, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, um, so I guess I can get rid of a crap ton of yeah. threat. I can get rid of five threat, might as well off of abduction protocols. Sounds great. So that we work on Fantastic. getting one of those captive X-Men. And that's all I can do. My hand's empty. Seems good. All right, so then uh, end of the player phase. We'll just ready and ready then draw back draw. to our hand size. I'm down to four. Oof. Alrighty then. Now the scary part. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to throw a three. Three on there. Yep, three on there. And now the villain's going to activate against me. I'm in hero form. It's going to attack. It's minus one. I'm just going to let it go undefended. So we'll flip that over, and I take a total of two damage. No oh, yeah, because he's got the minus one. Yep. yep. That's good. And that's through the phase. That's through the, that's whole, not, that's through the whole round. Is, yep. Now yeah, he's attacking you, also undefended. Oh, I'm just going to take it. Yep. Okay. Uh, so what is the boost? Uh, Target elimination is not attached to an identity. So it does nothing. Nothing happens this time. Cool, cool. So you just lose your tough, and that's it. So tough. And then for me, I, I need to draw will... a card. Because I lost tough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I will... Not defend it because oh, and it was gonna be uh, it was gonna be one. one. Nice. Uh, can I get a? Oh, it's right next to me. Uh, use your dial for your. Oh, that's. I'm sorry. You've got your. your I've got my telekinetic shield, shield by your, yeah. per your suggestion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Which I'll actually put that here to make that clear right. that that's attached. So now we're gonna deal out here. Oh, I like this technique of dealing cards where I where you remove, remove threat, threat just, at the just same gleefully. Time. That's a little trick we use that people don't know about. All right, I got the Sentinel Mark IV. I'll just throw it up real quick. This is just guard and patrol, so I need to defeat this thing before I can attack the villain or remove threat from one, the main scheme. The one time we don't bring Shadowcat. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, what I'm happy about is it didn't like attack me immediately or something. That's true. So no, now Josh will get the one that'll attack him immediately. Maybe. Self-repair. Discard each status card from the villain. Uh, give the villain a tough status card and heal five damage from it. Oh, man. Uh. Okay, so he's back to 42. All right. And I got Sentinel Mark V. When revealed, if targeted elimination, it is not. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for targeted oh, elimination and reveal it. Would you mind? And targeted for elimination we did show in the, in yep. the article. So you cannot change to alter ego form while you are engaged with a Sentinel minion. Makes sense. Okay. Yep. Hold on. Let me let me change my outfit here real quick. Like <laughs> they're after you. I'm not a mutant anymore. I'm just right. a humble citizen. So, at the end of the villain phase, we pass the first player marker, and That's Jubilee me. follows the first player token. The first player gains control of her as a constant ability. So, whenever the first player changes, uh, she moves to follow. Okay. All right. Hmm. Lead the way. Oh, I'm leading. Okay. All right, so tch, 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 I would really like more tough status cards, please, and thank you. Yeah, you should feel free to flip back to Alter Ego if you need to to recharge your yeah. your tough. We're, we're in a pretty good shape. I think we're doing all right. Yeah. So, but you can uh, you can use some, some basic powers before you do that since you don't need to heal. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that's fair. Can, that's fair. Punch the tough status off. Um, I have a I have a training card that I could use to buff the health of an ally if we need it. Oh yeah, yeah, those are fun, and it boosts their uh, thwart boosts as well. Thwart right? as well. That's gone now, yeah. Oh, oh yes. yeah, thank Let's you. Let's not forget that. No, no, oh, that's, 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 yes, that's, that's you. you. That's you. Yep, thank you. Yep, the temporary keyword just lasts to the end of the villain phase. Yeah, makes sense. 
Oh, hey. Well, maybe I'll just do this, because I don't need Shadow and Steel. Since we don't have a Shadow Cat here. Not yet. Uh, I'm okay with that. Are you forming two discard piles? No, I'm just showing what I'm <laughs> spending. Fair enough. To play Polaris. There we Ooh, go. To get a there tough status card. Yep. That feels good. Yeah, they can't see what's going on up here, so I'm just dropping them on the table so that we did show can see what I'm getting the, rid of. In the article, I remember her. All right, and then. Am I in your way, Josh? Or no, 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 you're fine. I can I can move things around. It's all good. So. Well, since she's going to be passing around. I don't want around, Jubilee to die. Well, I can I can give her more health. So turn. if I use her right now, you'll be able to buff her around next turn? Yeah, I'll buff her on my turn, which I go right after you. Yeah. Um, yeah, alternatively, if you spend an energy, you can use her ability to... I really don't continue. want to spend my energy, though. You also don't have to use her, either, if you're worried about her uh, getting KO'd. I'm not worried about it if Peter can beef her back up. Well, I can't heal her. I can just give her more health. I'm trying to remember okay. if there is the um, X Mansion in any of our decks. I don't know. I can't I, remember what's. In I think deck. that that one's in Kitty's deck. That's for sure in Kitty's, but I feel like it's in one of these. I think it might be in yours because he's got uh, he's got Utopia and Danger Room. Yeah, he's got Utopia and Danger Room. I don't Maybe? think I don't think Phoenix has. No, X you might be right. So should I just thwart this all the way? Because I've got two because of this. Jubilee oh, and I can take nice. that out, and then Polaris can hit for the tough status. I mean, it doesn't matter. Is it some somebody will ping off well, the tough? Eh, fire away. I well, mean, whatever feels good. I can, I can with one thwart, I can get rid of what's left on there. Oh, that's a good point. That's true. So I feel like okay. I feel like you should use. I'm your just gonna go punchy punch. What is when does this thing trigger though? Oh, when there's five, five per player. Per player so yeah, we hit 15 okay. on there. But we yeah, we can't. Thinking, can you throw up Marvel Girl? Yeah, why do you pass? So. Oh, sure. Please. Thank I, I need. All right, so we'll. There she is. Pretty sure we showed her, but maybe we didn't. We'll attack with Jubilee I first. See her again. To mm -hmm. pop off the tough. <laughs> and yes, I put all the tough cards right in front of me nice. because I'm the one that needs them. Makes sense to me. And then I'm just gonna hit for two. She's gonna hit for two. Nice. Total That's of four. So only four. Then Not quite 30. as powerful as last round. Hey, it still it still feels good. Thank you. All right. Did you want to flip to alternate? And then, yeah, I'll flip over so I can get more cards at the end of the round. Cool. All right. That's me. All right. First things first. Go ahead and clear that yeah. off. All right. So this has a win defeated. The player who defeated this scheme takes one random set-aside captive ally and puts it in a play under their control. So. I see why you did that. <laughs> you just uh -huh. take one of those uh -huh. at random. And this is victory. <laughs> so that's, yep, so uh, that's oh. out. I just, just thought of something, there. though. Um, were we supposed to spawn a Sentinel when we defeated this one? We were. Oh, look at me not reading the cards. Yeah. That sounds you were, good. You were so excited to grab I Jubilee. Was. I was so excited. <laughs> That's all, all right. right. Are we supposed to mill or search? It says search for search the deck or discard pile. Sorry, deck and discard pile for a Sentinel minion and reveal it. And you were the one who rescued her. Oh, OK. I'll just throw a little itty bitty Sentinel Mark II there. Which uh, I would have yeah. dealt, would have attacked you, because um, we got Jubilee yeah, in the first round. That's fine. All right. Easily retconned. I got Cannonball. Nice. So, and he mm. come he comes under my control or in my hand, for abduction. Oh, protocols. sorry. Puts it into play under their control. Sweet. Okay. Do you want to show him off? Sure. All right. So there is his his whole shtick. He's one two three with. And he doesn't take consequential damage if he attacks a minion. Which... And defeats it, yeah. Oh, and defeats it? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Like, this guy over here, for example. It's pretty easy Just to knock out. that guy over there. Yeah. He has exactly enough attack if you want to do that. That's a freebie. Sure. Thank you. We'll do that. get rid of the Mark II. Fixes, the mis fixes that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I already adjusted <laughs> this my dial guy, by two more hits. This guy is... Concerning me a little bit, but I do have cards in my hand. I gotta remember that. Uh, I could take care of that guy if you need me to. I won't be able to take care of him and this one, but. Let's throw the mission training on Jubilee. 
So okay. that gives her two additional health and plus one fort. One fort. Um, I'm going to have Marvel Girl attack that guy over there. Okay. How much is she swinging for? Just one, one but... Okay. That's good, though. But she forces him to thwart for us. Oh, fantastic. So I'm taking two so, off the main. Two off the main scheme, because he's got two scheme. Perfect. And then... I still got some... I could still use a one of these. I only got one copy of this, so I might as well get it into play now. I'll do that. Rise from the ashes, just in case. Nice. Cool. And that is all I can do. So you're up. All right. Well, uh, what's more pressing, this guy or that guy? This guy's going to hit me for three, but I'm at full health and I've got a shield. All right, I'm going to take care of this guy. I'm going to play my favorite uh, priority target attached to him. Uh, what does that do? So this is when attached enemy is defeated, the player who defeated it draws two cards. Okay. And because he's got that attached, I can just spend one resource of any type to fire my laser beams. And, and the defeat one it. Marvel Girl. Yep, thank Sweet. you. And that'll net me two cards. Cool. Alrighty. Let's see. I feel like I should play my field commander. This is a good card. You just want to go first all the time. Well, that'll let me play my upgrades, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to go first. That feels like something Cyclops right would Right before do. your... I know, right before I was going to get to go right. first. Uh, yep, <laughs> so I'll pay for it with that. And then... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's see. I'm going to thwart this down. Just two left on there. I could pop that guy for... He's got five health. Two. It's pretty beefy. Or I could throw Danger Room Training on Angel the and then hit him for three <laughs> instead. That might be fun. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to use that card to pay for it. I, I got a better plan. I'll use my Ricochet Beam to pay for it. Now I'll play Coordinated Attack on that guy. So allies take one less consequential. Oh, um, hey, nice. Uh, it kind of sucks to lose Psychic Rapport, but this I still want to do this. Which the public has not seen Psychic Rapport. Oh, cool. Ooh. Don't look. No, no, we, no, I'm saying we can we, <laughs> saying we wait, can show them. Wait till it gets played. <laughs> He's all got right, one all too. Right. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to play Danger Room Training on Angel. So now he's uh, plus one thwart, plus one attack, plus one hit point. And I'll swing it and hit that uh, armored uh, or sentinel mark five for, for three. three. Yep. And don't take consequential yep. because of this. And this does not have the temporary keyword, so this stays. Yep. Well, even now, um, all of my upgrades with temporary, when attached to a minion, lose temporary. Oh, nice. Because yeah. why not? Yeah. Just trying to build up that board state. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it. It already went. It's yep. the end of the round. Cool. Okay. They want to see the ricochet yeah, beam? They would love to. Sure, sure. That's a fun one. This was actually a request from some of my testers. It was just a like an oversight on my part initially. I was really focused on the upgrades. I'm apparently really bad at shuffling. The full blast <laughs> uh, moment. But then someone just reminded me like part of his power set is he can like calculate angles like even better than Captain America. He can just like if I shoot here it'll bounce around and they have him playing pool sometimes in the comics where he can just like eyeball the use his little lift up his sunglasses and Hit the ball to knock it, and then anyway. So ricochet beam is like you deal three to an enemy, and then you can deal three to an enemy with an upgrade attached. So it can be the same enemy, or you can be like three here, three right. there. Just kind of fun ways to play around with it. That is fun. Yep. Alrighty. But you discarded it, so yeah. Well, you, no, do you? No, there's you another one in there. We'll, we'll get it. <laughs> That's why I say to everything. There's another one. So eventually, <laughs> we need the team up card. Ricochet the ricochet beam, and it's Cap's shield, because <laughs> <laughs> their powers oh, combined. Easy. <laughs> All right, uh, we're back to the villain phase. Yep. Right? Yep. So so three another, on the main scheme. Another three, and you are first player. I am. And he's scheming because yeah, you is. are an alter ego. I, I, know. I didn't even see that you flipped. So it's just the no. We're not revealing yet. It's we're just the boost. Yeah. So he's adding four. Well, no, you were right to flip. Yeah, yeah, okay. We still got okay. the boost. Yeah. What yeah. I mean is we're not. Okay. We're putting it into play. I was so just looking at here, the card. Just give us a five. Yep. Throw a five on that. Take the one off. Yep. And then now it's for, for um, you. I hmm. two attack, and you still got the still got the, the shield, shield up. 
Oh, and then you got three attack after that. Actually, mm. but this will absorb the excess damage. And it's just once yeah. there's five or more, this is when it goes. So if he deals less than four, yep. then I can keep this up for this guy. I love the push your luck mentality here. Go for it. I'm going to go for it. We're, we're <laughs> early, in the, early in the game and yep. not committed to actually getting through all of it. <laughs> so undefended. Says you. And he does exactly four, which no. does which does get rid of it. But we dodge oh. shadow the pass, so that's a win. Yeah, we did dodge shadow the pass, which for Phoenix is extra bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no kidding. All right. Um, so for this guy, I think I'll just take the three. Okay. I don't want to exhaust. So I went the wrong way. All, All right. right. So then I am also getting attacked, and I'm starting to get low on hit points. So I'm going to defend this. It's one of the nice things about using my optic beam to attack. I can defend sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I take just one. One off the boost. Down to five. All right. Now we deal them out. Uh, yep. First player, second, and me. Advance. Ooh. Schemes. Schemes again. Very nice. Uh, okay. Well, we're okay. Let's see uh, what the boost is. It's... Um, Why did you... It's you, are, you are stunned. What's that? It's he only schemes for two. No, oh, it's and then there's and a then boost. you get stunned. Yeah, so the boost did not add more, thankfully. Yeah, so just two get added. Here, I got, I got, or you got it. Got it. All right, I'm stunned. Yeah. All right, what That's do I a got? Mean boost. Cut off guard. When revealed, discard an upgrade or support you control. You have no cards. Mm. Uh, well, I can't go into alter ego right now anyway, so yeah. I'll get rid of cerebro. That's probably a good call. Okay. And what do we got here? Did I forget to use? No, I ready. Okay. Oh, oh God. There well, you go. This is this is Speaking why I of. this is why I don't <laughs> rush to get rid of these counters, because this happens. All right. When revealed, if you have the unleashed trait, search the encounter deck, which I do not have the unleashed trait. So thankfully. Uh, so instead, we remove one power counter, and this card gains surge. So. Okay. But because you revealed it, does that surge go to you? No, it goes to you because I give it to you. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, good. Another Yay! Sentinel Mark V. Oh, it's going to attack you now. Um, yes. Because you are marked for elimination or targeted. Right? What's in my hand? Well, I just want to say the, the scenario discourages defending with allies, but you absolutely still can in a pinch because we need... Uh, you lose when there's X, and X is three more than the number of players, so we don't lose six. so there's six cards under right. there. So if you need to defend with one of your allies, you certainly can. I... I think I'll just defend myself. Oh, okay. That's not bad either. It's all right. So you just take one? Well, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to have to get low enough where I'm going to need to go into Alter Ego. Even though I've got this, I want to try to make it last as long as possible. There you go. I guess we did burn Burning Hugger, though, so I've got, I can go into mm -hmm. Unleashed mode with less risk now. But, All right. uh, I'm taking that, and Jubilee. Are you taking that? Yes, I am, because the round is over. All right. Field Commander, how does but that now, work? Now, but now, he, so... He gets to go first, but I'm still the first player. He's the, he's the first okay. player. I just take my turn first because... And then it jumps to me. And then you and then, and then, then you. me. I'm okay. So you and I are I thought he was just alternating. changing the order for the rest of the game. No, nope. you and <laughs> no. I are going to be alternating who goes after um, Caleb, basically. Got it. As it should be. And is that, a, <laughs> is that a choice every round, or is that a forced? It's it's a constant, yeah. Okay. So by, by the choice is when I play it down. Right. Yeah. Then I'm, I'm choosing to go first all the time, I guess. So I'm going to play uh, Tactical Brilliance. That's going to cost oh, me. Oh, hey, I didn't draw oh, up. What am I doing? I should have played this. I didn't realize I had it in my hand. He schemed, oh. he schemed twice. Oh, Hurry well, up. you know, we're, we're having fun retroactively doing stuff. Go for it. <laughs> I think I will. I would think I will go for it. But yeah, I'm going to use... It's fun to show it off. That's what we're doing anyway. We're here to show up cards, not yeah. what terrible players we are. <laughs> yeah, so psychic psychic manipulation. I, mean, I know, I know seen it. they have it's, seen it's it, fun. but just as a, just to remind people how it works. So yeah, when he schemed for four, that's a brilliant time to remove four threat instead. <laughs> yes. So there so there would actually be only one on yeah. the main scheme. That feels that. really good. Yeah. That actually changes my play. But that so yeah. I was I was about to thwart, and then it's like, well, don't need to do that nope. anymore. I was too busy paying attention to what was happening to you guys that I forgot to actually check what was in my hand. Hey, it's my all bad. good. No, no, it's all good. Uh, let's see. What is going on here? I'm missing all my triggers too. 
What's that? Oh, when you after I back. changed, I was supposed to put a Colossus card I back. I played with a friend, and like we missed, like neither one of us thought about it, like the whole game, mostly because I was sitting on the other side of the table. And I was like, wait a minute, I, I think he's got a thing. <laughs> yep. That's what happens when I haven't looked at the cards in so long. So I'm just gonna play everyone's favorite uh, Harry Blue Beast, so this and is... that's gonna cost me the other four cards in my hand. But he's got a cool response after you play. Search your deck and discard pile for a resource card. Add it to your hand. So I'm gonna take back the energy uh, mostly, so I can fire a, a laser at the. Uh, well, that's maybe I should just hold on to it for next turn, because he only needs two hits, right? He that's needs two him. hits. And, and Beast doesn't take Consequential from, from hitting it. Uh, right? Yeah, no allies do. Boom. Let's, let's, let's get that, that guy off the him? map. All right. Yeah. There's that back for you. Okay. That guy's gone. Thank so you I for might that. Just, I might just hold on to this to pay for something expensive next turn. Um, what do we need? Uh, I could throw three damage on that guy with Angel. Cannonball could finish him then if you did. Oh, perfect. Then let's do it. So I'll soften him up for you, get three damage. Now it's the first player's turn. Yes. <laughs> See, but look, look, I'm doing good. You, you all right. did a great job. Cannonball oh, finishes so him off without taking. So, so take a little pat on the back. You did great. Thank you. <laughs> you did great, Governor. All right. Um, I don't really. It'd be a bit of a waste of thwart to have Marvel Girl finish that off. She could just sit tight. She's only got one health left, though. Yep. Just sit tight, use her if you need to for a because you never know when the villain's going to blitz you with uh, with the right draws. This is true, but that does mean my turn is not going to be very exciting. Well, you did a lot of exciting stuff on the villain's phase when you prevented four threat and removed four instead as a swing at eight. Yeah. We, we still remember. <laughs> <laughs> Best part is you can use this in Alter Ego, too, yep. so long as you've got Psionic. Yep. No, that's that's enough right there. Unless you got an energy resource you want to toss for Jubilee. I wish I did, but I do not, and I don't want to spend this. Right? <laughs> I think that's good enough for now. Although I guess I could, because we've seen both Shadow of the Past and Burning Hunger. That's true. We got we've got uh, a half quite the deck a, we've to got go. quite a bit of the deck left. Not a lot of threat to remove, so yeah, you, you could go unleashed. I might unleash the Phoenix I Force. I think, think I will. So right. I'll spend that to two damage as an as an energy resource to deal two damage to him. There we go. Deck gets flipped over. By the way, if you're not making sound effects when you deal the damage, you're not playing the game right. I was making sound effects when I moved my cards, and I was being made fun of over here. Oh, uh, I'm going to admit. What to do they know about games? I'm going to admit to something. If they knew something, they'd be here. over here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the people on camp, they can't, they can't see you guys are laughing too. They're like, Caleb's a jerk. They're, they're probably over there crying. <laughs> Um, I'm going to admit to something blasphemous here. I have not seen the 90s cartoon. Oh, well, I, you can so, borrow my DVD, so that's how I, old school I am. Well, it's on Disney Plus now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it yeah. is. It's worth it. I've um, watched it recently. But yes. the, my, my point is, I don't actually know what sounds Jubilee's powers make. Oh, you so. can make any sounds, but yeah, a lot of pew pew. All right, so before you continue here, <laughs> mm -hmm. we, we have a few questions. We'll get into a Got couple it. of them in a minute. But right now, people are asking why the nemesis from Phoenix is so powerful and why you're so mm. scared of it happening. Well, yeah, once you hand it here. here. So a bit of lore for people who might not know. And we'll want to show that yeah. with her. So uh, when Phoenix was uh, adopted, uh, sorry, when Marvel, uh, boy, I'm mixing up all my, Jean Grey <laughs> used to go by Marvel Girl. Then she played host to the Phoenix Force for a while, started going by the moniker Phoenix. Uh, it's a cosmic entity that imbued her with incredible power. But the danger was, that if she didn't control that power, then it would just be like unleashed and like eat planets. Somebody like just generally not good. So <laughs> usually eating planets yeah, is bad. Yes. She's basically a, a mini villain, you know, with 12 hit points and uh, steady, so she's harder to stun and confuse. She has villainous, which means in addition to her two scheme two attack, she's also getting a boost. Um, that's just a lot. But then, if you actually reveal like shadows of the past, then you're getting consume the world which is, like I said, planet-eating cosmic entity, uh, you can actually lose the game if uh, Phoenix will start scheming onto this while it's dark in play. Dark Phoenix, but yes. Yeah, Dark Phoenix, sorry. Every time Dark Phoenix schemes, she puts the threat here, and if you, uh, if you let it get, what does it say, to 12? Yep. Yeah. And it starts at six, so you really gotta watch out. Yeah, you just lose and the game. It, and it adds an additional boost icon. And it's everything. permanent, so it doesn't go away. It just stays but, out there. But if you get rid of all the threat, then that extra boost icon goes away at least. Yeah, so it's a bit of lore for 
for comic fans that remember those those stories. They're really they're some of Chris Claremont's biggest stories. The whole Phoenix saga. I was considering flipping this turn, but then I remembered this was here. Uh, I think you can now though, because oh, because there's, no, there's no Sentinel. Yep. Yeah, that's a good point. I just yeah. need a little more cards. Yeah. So and I might recover next turn. Yeah, and we have no threat like hardly any at least. Yeah. yeah, we're doing all right there. All awesome. Right. Okay, cool. My turn. This is all I've got. Left. So before my turn. Um, oh, Jubilee exhausted when I did that. I forgot. Does she exhaust? Yeah, to do she does exhaust early? to do cool. that. To do that zap. Nice. Okay, that makes sense. So reprinted cards. Yep. And X Men art. Yes. Uh, the the chat just wanted to talk about that a little bit. So like, well, how much are we allowed to say here? <laughs> 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 this is that's a great question. Everybody loves this is their kids. area of expertise so, now. She's <laughs> she is the one that sent me that question. So so um, I mean, be vague-ish, but I mean, obviously, they're different than anything else we've ever done. The X Men right. are special. In yeah, their I think team. I think our players are perceptive enough to notice that uh, there's there's no X Men um, artwork featured in Avengers and Guardians focused stuff. And vice versa, and there's reasons for why that is that uh, largely beyond our control, and it works out great because it's just an excuse then to to, to put new art, art mm -hmm. on on old cards. So it's kind of a win-win, honestly. At the end of the day, it's like it's just fun. It just rejuvenates the uh, the resource cards. You know, now we have uh, you know Phoenix on the energy card instead of right. uh, I can't remember who it was before. So yeah, it's fun Thor. to get the the new it's art. Thor, I think. Yeah, it's Thor. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Right, so for us and for our stuff, mm -hmm. we're keeping things kind of contained. Like you just said, X-Men mm -hmm. are going to be in this box, but that doesn't mean that you as a player can't throw a Thor. Correct. A Thor or, energy card. Yeah. yeah. No, it's uh, once once it's out there in the game, you can mix this match. Yeah. However choose, you like. choose which version you want, yeah. or if you want one of each. Like if you're going to have two copies. Not in the same deck, no. Not the max one. Yeah. No, but for the energy <laughs> card. But for, like, but for the but other, for, for for the other, other cards, cards, yeah. Other cards that have been reprinted with new art, you can mix and match however you want. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. So that was one of the questions. Uh, Caleb, another one yes. was flavor text and how oh. you decide what flavor text to use. Okay. Uh, so that's I actually that's another great question. Oh, no, no, no. I'll take uh, my turn. I want to do a little tip of the hat to, to Michael Boggs here because with the core set, we kind of went like the hard way and we wrote most of it. You know, okay, because like obviously there's great writing in the comics that mm -hmm. inspired all of this, but it, like time wise, you like we don't have time to start going through individual issues trying to find good flavor. So it was actually uh, Michael Box discovered a website where it's just like quotes by this character. Oh, nice! And uh, it was just a godsend. So it's nice. like by the time we're done with the set, flavor text is typically the last thing that we'll apply because most of the time when we're developing, we don't have artwork. That's, that right. also, yeah. We're developing the game while art is being constructed and illustrated, uh, so it all comes together at the end. And so you, you might have an idea for what the card's going to look like, an idea of what it will say, but it really it's marrying the two. Once you have the card ability, then you get the artwork that fits. Then you, if you have room, you know, then you throw some flavor on there, really helps sell it. Uh, and so it was really helpful when Vox found this this site because you could just go through and go, oh, I like that one. That one fits. Grab it. Done. Now the problem is <laughs> when you forget you've used it before, because oh, no. <laughs> we're going on a website. It's not like we can check it done or something, yep. you know. So you got to you got to be vigilant. Yep. Nice. So with that, you wrote all this stuff originally. Now it's all direct from the comics. It's it's a blend. Or, okay. It's a blend. Okay. It's where we can we grab from the comics, and you know I had a lot of help with the core set actually. Uh, even our producer Molly got involved and wrote some flavor for us. She wrote some nice. really great stuff. Yep. We all so know Molly. It's, it's we a, all know yeah, Molly. It's definitely a team team effort. Um, so now it's like we'll grab flavor where we can that works, and every once in a while we'll just add something, you know, of our own that we think is appropriate or funny. Cool. Yeah. All right. And we'll talk about more stuff later. I want to take my turn, though. It's my turn. Yes. Um, okay, so I am going to drop organic steel. There it is. Those two. It's gonna come with uh, two two counters. Yeah, two counters yeah. on it. Or no, I need these for my. What's a, oh, oh yeah, the yeah, green ones. Power. Yep. All right, cool. cool. So I've got a couple counters there, so I can be more tough more often. I am gonna flip an attack just to get rid of stun. You, you are gonna get another tough. You get a second. Uh, you get flipping. a second tough. Oh yeah. Yes, that's that's the power. I 
love this game. <laughs> I just, I, I think I've said it in many well, you, you different always, live streams. You always love playing the tank. Exactly. I've said it so, a bunch of times. So, I love playing the tank. So this is just spectacular. Options. And I've got these two, which oh, I you know want. what? You know what? I just, oh, I guess, yeah, you want to get rid of the stunned. Yeah, I needed to get rid of the stunned oh, yeah, you could, for these you to could work. You play the other one, though. But it's... Yeah. Oh. You're not stunned anymore. You got rid of it. So you can play it. Even if I'm already exhausted? Yeah. It doesn't say to exhaust, does yeah. it? It doesn't. That is a common question that actually comes up. So I don't want you to feel right. singled out. Like, uh, not like, I'd tease Peter if he did it. But, you know, since <laughs> it's you. Um, no, we get that question a lot. People are like, can I still play an attack event if my hero's exhausted? Yeah, absolutely. Unless the event says you need to exhaust your character as part of the cost. So are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's see I've it. been playing this game. I mean, Alex and I had yeah. it before the game came out. Sure, right? Sure. And... I have been playing that as you must be attacking oh. the entire time. Oh, okay. Yeah, you must exhaust. You've been exactly. playing hard mode. Uh, yes, I've oh, been boy. playing on hard mode. Oh, okay, so then I will, I mean, I like these cards, yeah. but I might as well do more stuff this round. You got it. So I'll drop those for Steel Fist, so I get five to deal damage. five damage, Boom. and Stun and Confuse. 31. Now is this one... Nice. Yeah, and this one is not Steady or Stalwart, so, so you Stun and Confuse it. When, yeah, when I discard a yeah. tough, I draw a card, I get rid of that, I get the tough, and now it's stunned and confused. And that's exhausted. Nice. Yeah, that's exhausted. Yep, and you get to add that one card that you drew. And then that. Stunned and confused? Stunned yeah. and confused. Holy Because you gave up a tough. Yeah, I gave that's up. No, true. I didn't. Well, well <laughs> you I gave would up have. a token. This is, <laughs> you, would you, got have. All, you got everything going now. Yeah. Well, I no longer feel bad about going an alter ego. <laughs> no, no, that's great. That's all great. Right. Timely. Um, do you want Polaris to do anything? I, I mean... Yeah, I do. She's Send gonna for two more. Yeah, she's gonna pop in two more damage. Okay. All right, he's down to twenty nine for her. It's out of the thirties. Maybe we will get further than I thought. I think we're doing fine. Okay, and that's okay. me. That's so it. that's in a round. All right. Okay. I will keep this. All right. One, two, three. Four. Got a decent hand for next turn. Five and six. Oh, this is great. This so is a fantastic he, hand. He won't scheme for him, and he won't attack me, which is brilliant, because I only have five health. So, But we do put uh, Start of the Villain face. Yep, that goes on there. there. Tries to scheme against yep. me, does Confused. not. Tries to, then, tries to attack you, Caleb. Yep. Gets rid of the stunned. Does not. You. Just attacks you, Mr. Um, too Mr. Tough. Mr. Too Tough. <laughs> I am quite tough. Which, if here's your you could pop this boost. to get to get it yeah. back. Which I oh, this probably will. Oh yeah, sorry. Just the boost. All right. Yep. No boost. Or er, two boost. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because it's tough. tough. And nice. you get to draw a card because that. Of will. Do that. <laughs> that this is nuts. <laughs> That's amazing. It feels really good. Yep. Yeah, it's, funny. It's like the deck really kicks into overdrive. It did not click with me how that worked until seeing it in action. Yeah, I, I haven't so seen good. Colossus played. We'll deal out the cards here. One for first player, one for me, one for Colossus. Okay, what do we got? Gauntlet theme. Uh-oh. Attach the villain. Villain's attacks gain piercing and ranged. No, they don't. They gain nope. piercing. No, nope. put it, put how it do, here. How do we get rid of this Spend card? three <laughs> physical to get rid of it. Oh. Okay. Uh, and That's he fine. gets plus one attack, too. I can do that. All right, he's Let's sick of see. he's sick of you. Uh, just ignore. Oh, here his we attack. go. This this is one of my favorite cards. Warn the others. This is an obligation. Uh, so obligations. Some people ask this question because all of our obligations in the core set worked a certain way. Oh yeah. That they got the impression that's how they work by nature. When in reality, uh, obligation when you draw it, well, you'll just put it in front of you. It'll just stay there, and and continue to have its effect. So this one is a forced response after your turn ends. Place this card face down under Operation Zero Tolerance. And it does count towards uh, the right. cards needed. Uh -huh. Right, because it's not allies under, it's just face down cards under. Uh, so it also has an alter ego action, exhaust your identity, discard this card. And then do we want, uh, I don't think they saw this one either. So we no, can, the problem is, oh wait, no, I am ready. Look at that. You are ready. You okay. are ready. I thought I was exhausted. You're uh, already he ready already. You stunned him, oh, so yeah, he didn't attack right. you. I defended, that was a while ago. We are in a, <laughs> we're in pretty <laughs> right. decent cool. shape here. Yeah, the gun is just it. mean. It's bananas. Colossus That's, does not like that. Yeah. We nah, don't want to get rid of that. All right, then you have a card to reveal. Watch him attack you. Relentless Robots. Ooh. So that's a side scheme. Yep. Each player engaged with a Sentinel minion can't thwart the scheme. Okay, do we want to that. show that off? Uh, yeah, we can three, show that off. We haven't shown that's that. That's three per player? I got it here, yeah. 
Yep, so this one is it's got the hazard icon, so it's just gonna generate another card if we leave it out there. Kind of makes it this is a little pro tip for people playing at home. Do my little uh thing. Well, anytime a hazard icon I comes up, you want to get rid of that as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. like especially prioritize that. Especially because we don't currently have any sentinel minions blocking us from thwarting that. Yeah. I'm no, I was as you know, every now and then I um, forget I do this for a living. You know. <laughs> So not everyone, not everyone knows that. Unfortunately, but. I am in attack mode rather than thwart mode right now uh, because of this. So I'm not going to be able to help with that see. as much. I've got some thwart on the table between beast and angel. That's four. I have mutant peacekeepers. Let's see. Oh, that's a good one. So that you don't have to deal consequential I, that, for them. I don't think you can play that on me. Exhaust your hero and any number right, of Right, but that's a cost. You can only pay cost with cards you control. Right. You don't control my allies, so you can't exhaust them. Really? Even though it says any number of X-Men allies? It yeah. doesn't say your X-Men allies? Right, no, it's just part of the rules of the game. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Uh, let's see. Might have done that wrong during playtesting. That's okay. <laughs> we did lots of things wrong during playtesting. So the surprise of no one. Uh, let's see now. I'm... Well, I do have this, and I am unleashed. Oh, what does that one do? Uh, remove four threat from a scheme if you have the unleashed stun and confuse an enemy. Why don't you just do that? Oh, you're not in hero form yet. Okay. I will be on my turn. Great. But I go last this time. So, I, so, yeah, I don't have a great hand for thwarting either, but I could do a lot of damage. Uh, between, to the between Marvel Girl and that card, I can do six. Six? So you need to get rid of three more? I mean, I can get rid of Oh, three. check it out. Jubilee is, is plus one now. Plus one with pl with two el two with, additional health. Yeah. And I've got another mission training I could slap on another ally if some if. Oh, even if you put it on uh, on one of yours. Yeah, I could put it on Cannonball since he's not going to. Or, or yeah, or Miss Marvel, whoever. Well, Marvel Girl's about to go out. If I oh no, it'll give her more health. Right. Good. All right. Good so point. this is this is what I want to do. I want to. I just want to lean into my my thing here. I'm going to play exploit weakness. Increase the amount of damage attached enemy takes from each attack by one. Very nice. So I'm, I'm about to just blitz him with uh, Go for it. with what I have here. So Angel was three to begin with. Now he's dealing four. I'll get him down to 25. I'll just leave this right in front of me because we're not You're going to be adjusting it. Right. Um, okay. Beast can do yeah. three. Gets it down to 22. And then I've got that ricochet shot we talked about earlier. Hey. Says deal three damage, except it's four. So we'll go to 18. Oh, I just and then it says deal eight. another three, except now it's four. So we'll go to 14. That felt good. It did, did some damage there. It smelled good, too. Um, right. So since we pumped up, uh, or rather you did, pumped up Jubilee's thwart, let's use it to do that. And we'll get two off of here. Nice. And then Cyclops has a little bit better thwart. Oh, you know, I'm going to let this go off. I'm going to let that go oh, off because I want to get rid of this. So there's two more from Cyclops. Okay. And yeah. Oh, no, I'm not done yet. Fire my laser beam at him <laughs> for four more. I'm a fire in my life. He's laser. down to ten. Jeez. Very nice. Uh, can you finish him off? Uh, oh, this is at the I end can... of my turn. At the end of my turn, this goes under. I you, failed to warn the others. You don't want... Oh, you weren't in... You would yeah. have had to go to Alter Ego. Right. Okay. Fair yeah. Enough. To be fair, that's the first of six that we would need to Right. I think we're doing all right. Yeah. All right. So my go... Get rid of that junk. Nice. 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 Not uh, punching through my nicely tough. Done. Right. Um, and then we're going to discard Mutant Protectors. Ooh to get plus three hit yes. points on Polaris. Nice. Keep her around a little bit longer. Very cool. And we will only attack for two, but three. Yes. And then attack for another three. Awesome. So Very he's nice. down to so four hit points. six, and uh, yeah, I sadly lost so that other So at time. four, because you're unleashed now, if you attack with Phoenix, you'll, you'll, you'll knock him out. We'll defeat stage one because she's three and then plus one. That is fair. I was gonna recover, so but <laughs> I was gonna recover, but I don't know if I actually want to anymore. Uh, it's, yeah, up to you. Yeah. Well, 
Hmm. I, I've got this. I'll be fine. I'll flip. Um, I'll finish him off with awesome. the four. Awesome. Okay. So, that will stay attached. What are we at time-wise? We're at about an hour, so we're good. Okay. Just like this, isn't, this isn't going bad at all. All right, so the new Sentinel-2 is... Now he's got steady. 18 per player. That is unfortunate, because I was about to stun and confuse him, but... Now it won't actually stun and confuse him. I had to do a little math in my head there. Okay. Then um, uh, he's tough. Can we throw a tough status on him? Uh, and, no, these are mine. And we need to get another. <laughs> we need to get another abduction protocols out. Ah, there. correct. Correct. Is there one in the discard? Let's grab that. You're still able to do your five, four. Okay, right? and this four, is yes. two and hinder plus two, so six, eight. Yeah. Here's three. It's four. All right, here's five. Toss a five on there. I can do four. Th I can remove four. Oh, I thought you could do all five. Well, I can. Yeah, let's Otherwise, get rid of the hazard. I, I would have changed that up a little bit too. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. fine. We're getting well, as far as we can. So I can't do mutant peacekeepers because Gene's already exhausted. So I'm going to use that for very sleepy. But you can get five. I believe in you. Well, telepathic trickery gets four. Hey, why don't you pass that one over here? Let's. This this card is so nuts when you are unleashed. And she's <laughs> stunned and conf I'm gonna stun and confuse him. Yep. Granted, he's steady now, so he's not actually stunned or confused until we yeah. get another of each. We're laying the foundation. <laughs> um let's do Thank you. Just need to get rid of Oh, wait a minute. Uh no, never mind. Never mind. Gonna continue with what I did before. And I'm going to discard mutant peacekeepers to put a mission training on Marvel Girl. There it is. Then I'll have her thwart for three off of abduction protocols. And have oh, cannonball, cannonball takes out the for last one, one on the nice. right off of well yeah, done. this robots. Nice. Look at that. Handling is good. Good round. Playing a, just, playing a justice deck. That's my role. Looks good. Alright, uh, Marvel Girl's got two health left. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Do I want to keep these? Yeah, I'll keep both of these. Ooh. I drew my four. Drew my visor. There's psychic report. Let's see if we I all can, good? Let's see if I get a chance to play it. So we're putting three back onto the main scheme up to seven. We've done a great job of controlling that. Yeah, we have. So then, uh, he's got one stun, but he's steady, so he's not actually stunned yet. So he's still attacking me, and I think uh, he's coming oh. at me for three now. I gotta get a consequential cannonball. Ooh, that's mean. I'm getting low, but I will defend. So this is three plus, I'm stunned. Okay, can I have a stun? Yeah. Luckily though, I just take one damage down to four. Josh, I'm assuming undefended. Undefended. Right. <laughs> Am tough. Uh, yeah. So, doesn't even matter. Tough. Good draw for Iron Will. That yeah. was so bonkers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, what'd you get? <laughs> Just All right. Another organic. Oh, steel. Nice. <laughs> okay. Somebody Just be tough for. Very everybody. excited. That's, those are the reactions we want. I, I love like it. That. I like seeing that. Cool. Uh, is attacking you then, uh, Peter? Yes, he is. How much health do you have? Uh, five, but I've got to revive. You're just going to take it? I kind of want to, but I do have yeah, this. Yeah, you could. Um, I forget what, what happens to you when, when you rise from, from the ashes. This card is removed from the game. I get to ready and restore to my printed hit point value. <laughs> and then remove all power counters from Phoenix Force. Wow. Show that Which, one. that one Which, at least doesn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. It's, I don't know, it's tempting. You could let it go. I think I'll let it go. See what you happens. Might, you might not even get KO'd. If I don't get KO'd, <laughs> right. then, I, then, I, then I could defend for something else, right. and then that'll ready me. Well, draw, draw your boost. Let's see. Let's see what this happens. three plus. <laughs> Four. I have one health. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, that worked out. That was the correct answer. So, I'm doing it. Nicely done. All right, uh, encounter cards now. Here we go. All right. One, boom, two, boom. and a three. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got quick strike. Could have done without that. Um, it's two. Do you Am want, I going to be able to go alter ego? Do you want me to defend for you? 
I suppose you have the ready in your hand, you said, right? I have, it's right. And no, I no, no, I mean the, the psychic rapport. I do. Oh, yeah, then absolutely you should because that'll allow you to ready up. So how much is it hitting me it's for? It's two and so you're So I, I take none. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and I can play this. You can. Uh, it's I, not a response. No, but I could play it during your turn Correct. as a requested action. Yes. That's okay. gonna be it's gonna the be awesome. one time that it'll little, be a little plan in the head, and yeah. then they'll get to see it. Then they'll finally get. It'll to see be it. even better than it would have okay. been earlier. <laughs> right, uh, Josh? What's yours? Uh, mine. Oh, another oh, oh, action protocol. All right, that's five uh, minute three. Five minute three. Got it. Okay. Why right. is nobody yeah. fighting me? Um, They're scared, man. They you, are scared. They should be. <laughs> Mutant detected. You Choose. come with this guy. All right. So choose the place the top card. Of, so the mutant detected. Oh, yeah. Place the top card of your deck face down under Operation Zero Tolerance, or the villain in each minion engage with you attacks you, even if you're an alter ego form. I'm gonna let him attack me. Ah, I got this. And then just, just take it. Go ahead and show. Oh, well, that's wait, awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Does your card allow you to ready? It does. Is it both it's of it. you? Then why not just put a second one here? We're doing fine. Um, that's a good point because if this, if you ready off that, then you won't ready off the psychic rapport. And then you'll still have that for later. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, let's throw it under. Uh, only, this will only be our second card. Uh, all right, all right. If we want to... Is it that card that goes under there? Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, no, it's just the top card. Oh, it's the top card. Oh, I read it wrong. I, see, I don't yeah. want to do that. I well, don't want the top card. Let me look at it. I'll tell you if it's good or <laughs> No. It's fine. All it's right, fine. all right. The, this card, that gives you a ready at the very least. And let's see if there's... Yeah, but you won't ready. You could lose the top card in your deck. Come on, Peter. I don't want to do that. Come on. All right, all right. Do what you want. Do what you want. Do it. If this is a, <laughs> if this is a, that's not this IP. <laughs> it was no, Peter. This, <laughs> this is the, the card we're losing. That's okay. You so. got two more in your deck. That's my theme of this whole game. Right. You, two more you got deck. more. Fine, fine. <laughs> there you go. I'm giving in to pressure. Good Thank job, you. Peter. That felt Peer good. pressure. All right. So your first player. No, I'm not. Jubilee, I mean, I but am, I'm gonna but go I'm first. not. <laughs> All right. Know your place. All right. It's too bad I don't have um, the resources. I'm sorry. Sorry, Caleb. <laughs> it's too bad I don't have so the resources sorry. to do these two things as a combination. Three and what? Four. Okay. No, I'm just so excited I got my uh, my Ruby Quartz visor. Though I just realized I don't have. All oh, right, this went away at the end of the round. Yep, that's gone. So I have my Ruby Quartz visor, right. but I don't have a tactic upgrade, so I can't fire my I beams this turn. That but if I ready you, you can basic attack to clear that stun. Uh, yes, that would be great. So let's, let's show them the card. I'm sad that I can't do... Oh, that's going to fix my problem, actually. I'm sad I can't do this combination. Oh, it's okay. But it's all right. No, this is so this is so perfect, because you're going to go. play it right Psychic when I didn't have a card in my hand. Here we go. So here it is. This is the team up for uh, Cyclops and Phoenix, so they have to both be in play in hero form to use it. Or yep. Cyclops and... Phoenix yeah, or the ally. Yep. So yeah. two cost event, hero action, ready Cyclops and Phoenix. And then choose to either return a Cyclops card to from your discard pile to your hand, or uh, what's the other one? Or place two power counters on Phoenix Force. So I, I would really love if I could grab a, you can a, gra a tactic upgrade. You can grab the yeah. tactic upgrade. Peter's like the best to play with ever. It's like <laughs> defending me and letting me get my cool stuff. This is awesome. Okay. Now is that can we do that though? Because I played it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand the wording's a little little wonky. It'd be okay. Okay. Uh, so it's technically, you, it's otherwise your, it wouldn't be a choice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So technically, it's your discard. Yeah. Um, coordinated attack. I think each ally taking minus one when attacking the villain this turn. Consequential, I mean. We just want to dogpile the villain. Who does have tough? Oh, I can get rid of that. I kind of want to. Were you going to do that? And just plink off one really quick. Uh, yeah, that's right. I got to ready. Oh, I, have yep. to, I have to get rid of the sun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's right. Now I can shoot the my, my laser beams from the visor. Oh, wait a minute. Did, that didn't say any tactic upgrade. It said a Cyclops it card. It says a right? Cyclops card. Yep. Okay, any fair. Cyclops uh, card. Fair enough. Well, how about the one that does plus one damage again? That was fun. Let's do it <laughs> sure. again. All right. I like it. Uh, don't forget you're still stunned. Yep. So let's get rid of that right now. Exhaust and get rid of stun. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna play the visor, which also has the most incredible artwork. That's I really love good. it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to. Oh, what am I getting rid of? Oh, I don't suppose you have that X jet. I don't. Yeah. Um, I'm a little resource starved right now. Okay, tossing yeah, two I... cards. 
to get rid of that. I wish I had just played it. <laughs> All right, so now I can, uh, oh, I haven't played the upgrade yet. There it is again, another, another plus one. That'll cost me that. So now, when I want to fire my beam, I can exhaust the visor to generate the resource and the attack gains piercing and ranged. So I pierce through oh, the top. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the top awesome. gets pierced and it's plus one. So instead of three, I'm doing four. Nice. So down to 50. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's oh, I forgot I have this guy still. Yeah. So do you want to kill him for me? He's a little I'll beefy. Take him. Awesome. If All right. you can, if you can get him. I mean, down, he's only oh, he's six. If you can get him down Maybe to just two left, if you can get him down yeah. to two left, then I can have Cannonball finish him off without taking damage. Okay. Well, I'm gonna dogpile the villain a little bit while I've got the the uh, weakness on him. So this is gonna be one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven total between those guys. So he's down to forty-three. Um. Then I gotta put a little damage on these guys. All right, and then I'm gonna use game time. This is a this is a fun card. I think we spoiled it, but I can choose an ally with a training upgrade to uh, ready it and heal the damage from it. Oh, we wow. actually did not spoil that one. Oh so well, there right. you go. Then. That's, that's real good. The fun time. So yep. So now Angel could attack the Sentinel again for four, or I could put three on this guy. If you put three on that guy, I can have Marvel Girl deal him one to him to have him remove and force him to remove two from here, mm -hmm. and then Cannonball can finish him off. I'm fine with that. So then I don't even need to do anything. Why am I even here? Uh, you can you're still take him. on the villain. You're you're still at full health. This is true. I am. All right. I'm at one. Oh, actually, that's a good point. <laughs> I should probably go alter ego if you guys are okay. Yeah, you've got, um, you've got your rise from the ashes and you're at full health? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm doing just fine. I better go yeah, alter ego because I'm, I'm down to four I'm staying hits. hero. All right. Um, we do need to get rid of those abduction protocols, though. because I know we do. Because Marvel Girl is our only way of getting threat off of this while those are there. Mm. Yeah, we're still safe, though. Like even when, even when that goes off, it just puts one card underneath Operation Zero Tolerance. From the first player. Yeah. That's which will probably which we don't mind. But it'll be me by the time that busts, and I don't want that. <laughs> I just twisted that knife real good. Oh my gosh. I So I really wanted to play another organic steel. Well do it. But having Shadow Cat would be really good right now too. Well She's we have just... seven seven out of fifteen. It's gonna go up by three, so ten out of fifteen. They I don't think they've seen the Shadow Cat ally. Well, they would have because of Gen Con. Right. Yeah. Um, keeping that tough train going is pretty, pretty it good. It is. I'll do it. You can keep her in your hand for next turn. No, I'm going to get rid of her. Now you draw mutant protectors, you finally have someone to throw down. What's that? If you I've already gotten rid of all three all of my mutant protectors. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to spend those two for that. And question on upgrades. Sure. Can a an ally have multiple upgrades? Or does one take? Not, not, not multiple the, trainings. Not the trainings. But you can okay. play that upgrade on anyone's ally, right. any X-Men ally. Uh, don't forget your two counters so, for this. Oh, yeah, thank you. So like you could you could give Beast three yeah, extra hit points? I think points. Beast will take three extra yeah, hit points. Yeah, thank you. We'll get rid of Shadow. I like how I talked him into I just like to have, I mean, Beast, Beast has the 2-2 two, two stats. Like yeah. that's Right, I mean, he's the same as Shadow Cat, right? I mean, she ignores the icons, which makes her cool, but... All right, so you're able to take out... That Sentinel. Yep. So I can just deal all the damage. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. And so plus one. Yep. So that's three. Yep. Down to forty. Four, five. You don't have any energy resources. No, his hands seven, empty. Eight, and no. then is she, she, plus she, two hit points. Okay. Yep. So she's got one health left. So that got us down to thirty-eight, and then three more. Yep. And down then to thirty-five. Man, I love all the uh, damage did, acceleration. Did you? Uh, I did not put one on her. Okay. I put one on Jubilee. Yeah, she's gonna be around okay. for a while. Yeah, she's six health right now. Yeah, oh, six health total, so she's got two left. All right, well, I can't do anything from my hand, but I can do stuff from my field. So, one, which, so Marvel Girl's at one health now. So it's damage him for one? Damage him for one, and force then... him to thwart two off the scheme for us. It's, uh, not, it's not actually a thwart. But it's... I think, actually, I, I think I, I learned this at Gen Con. Like I had to check the rules. It's not actually thwarting. It's just like you can't remove. Can't remove threat can't at all. Can't remove threat at all. Yeah. Okay, because that would change what I do. Sure. Which yeah. means I would not be able to kill him. 
Well, now you're killing me. Okay. Well, well no, I, actually, <laughs> Phoenix will kill him. Yeah, that, I think it's better to thwart with her. Phoenix yeah. will kill him, and we'll instead remove two threat off of this abduction protocols. Nice. Down to just three. Um, Down to three. I'll yeah. have Cannonball deal two to Sentinel. Which is magnified by one. Yep, so it becomes You've three. Got a three. So he's down to 32. That's fine. They can... Awesome. All right. So seems was, seems legit. wasn't quite as graceful as I wanted it to be, but... Oh, it was good. Everything's graceful Wait, did I forget to? Here. I forgot to put the threat back. My bad. I almost kept that threat off. It's <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the... All right, phase. that's uh, the end of the round. It. Should we do one more round? We got time for one more. What do y'all think? How are you feeling? One more round? Well, we he's down do to 32. Well, it just depends whether it's on camera. Let's go. If Let's we go. Have another, if we have another, well, hang on. This stays with you. We got to get through the enemy phase. Oh, yeah. Fair, oh, that's, fair, uh, fair, fair, so fair. we do ready and draw. Yes. I'm discarding that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Two, three, four, five. So the scheme is going up by three. Yep. So we got 10 on their total now. And okay. first player is activating He's attacking against you. Josh. Here comes the attack. What? He's attacking me? That has never worked for be me before. Okay? <laughs> Wait, that has a boost effect. Uh, put Sentinel Mark IV into play engaged with you. Oh, which then, fine. Which then hey, you, you get a minion. So, well, well, but you're going to yeah. organic he's, steal. He's doing fine. Yeah. He was drawing so his power first. That, that. I've got an order. Yeah. Got a method to my madness over here. Yeah, and now that wants to attack you as well. Now he's swinging at you well. for two. Which you won't, you won't get that one back. That's fine. Okay. Because just I still get draw. the card draw. That is nice, yeah, the two extra cards. Okay. He's attacking me, I'll just take it. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> or should I, well, the defense, I, the defense isn't enough. He's got three attack, so it, there's really no mm -hmm. point. Do you want okay, me well, to defend for you? He's he's gonna heal and everything. You could have right. blocked the two actually. That's true. I He'd will keep block you tough. I, oh, keep but he drew the card already. Oh, you could block the villain. Nah, he'd be exhausted. That's a more difficult retcon once he's drawn a card. We'll, right. we'll just move. Yeah, on. let's just yeah, let's just go with what I was gonna okay. say. So I I miss out on the ready, but I get the full heal. That's pretty good. Which I'll take that. It's always nicer to ready to full health than than die. <laughs> yeah, and uh, then scheming against you, Caleb, yes. for. Only two. I accept. So here, we'll take three off and throw on a five. And what are we up to there? So now... 12 out of 15? Yep, we're at 12 out of 15. And we get some cards. Oops. Whoa. Whoa. I just made a mess. That's okay. I'm trying to cheat and remove thread again. <laughs> the second time you have a couple of ability cards too? Yeah, the Sentinels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't... They may not have seen that one. Oh, oh your game uh, My game time's been there yours. forever. Like, All right. Oh, it's game time. So there's the Mark IV. We've got a couple Mark Fives out. All right, what's coming at us? Uh... Cool. So I'm targeted for elimination as well. All right. Okay, so you can't alter ego while there's a Sentinel in front of you. Which, which there guess is. what? There is. And I got Adaptive Armor. Attached to the villain, he gets plus eight hit points. Spend three energy to discard this card. Gonna... Yeah. So he's back up to 40, but if we just... So if we discard that, does he lose those eight? Yes. Okay. Yes, he does. All right, and okay. Caleb, what's yours? Let's find out. Uh, oh, the gauntlet beam is back. Oh, great. That's the, the piercing. So we've got two attachments that each require three of the same resource to get rid of. And now yep. this and Jubilee come to me, but Caleb goes first. Yeah, now I'm going to see if I actually have a tactic upgrade left in my deck. Oh, and I do. Ooh. I have a couple of them. That's fun. Um, oh, and this one should have been <clears throat> discarded. Do we want to do that again? I'll take it. Exploit weakness. Try to dogpile him again, maybe? All right. I feel like I need to heal, though. That's that's really why I came here. I was getting low. We'll get back to seven. I'm getting a little low, too. Flip to your right at 14. Yeah, you better better watch out. I know. Um, let's see. What do I got? I got Tactical Brilliance. That feels good. Let's do that. So I'm going to play. This This is actually, this is Cyclops' best card, probably. Like, no joke. Pay for it with strength. I'm going to remove three from a scheme. That'll be this one. Hey. Which, um, That goes out of, out of the game. I just get uh, a random... Get a ally. random one under your control. 
And it was just Jubilee's one that put a Sentinel into play, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. those, those ones, is, I mean, you get rid of the Crisis icon, and we get a, a bonus Oh, we got ally. Boom Boom. That's fun. She's got kind of an interesting bit. Her, so her power is to throw these little, like, plasma bombs tick, tick, that tick, they don't explode tick. immediately. <laughs> they, like, she can, like, count them down, and then they blow up. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I... So, I'm going to take coordinated attack with my tactical brilliance. I get boom boom into play. I can actually stun and confuse him. Oh, yes. Or I can get rid of his extra health. I will. I can't do both. I, I want to kill him if we can. Just dogpile this guy down again. Because this time I'm going to put, not only is he getting one extra damage, oh, geez. but also allies don't take consequential when attacking him. And that's going to cost bigger, go me. Home. But Josh can't attack him because uh, he's got the Sentinel Mark IV. Well, if he smashes that, you know. I'll be able to take that out. I won't be able to do a ton of extra I damage could, afterwards. Actually, hmm. I could blow that up too. Should, uh, I, should I blow it? Oh, I'm going to pay for it with that. This can only be attached to a minion. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. Let's put it on him. Put it on there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> actually, hand it back here. I might not need that. Did I go and grab that? I did. I'll grab something different. I forget. I should read the cards. Um. Well, if I make that guy take one more, then I can just shoot him with my optic blast, and he'll be toast. So how about they I'll do that? Do like toast. Yep. All right, so I'll throw that on him, and that will cost me this, and I will give him priority target as well. So I'll draw two cards when I zap him with my optic blast. Right what you're now. doing right now. Ooh. So then he dies. He's gone. That guy's gone. You get Thank two you. cards. Two. And now Josh can swing on uh, Big Bad. Ooh. Well, let's see. I got yeah, I got a lot of guys that want to hit the villain here still. After Boom Boom attacks an enemy, place one bomb counter on it. Let's do that. So she's going to swing in. Normally be for one, but it's doing two. It's down to 38, and he's getting a bomb counter, which will also do extra damage when it blows up. Beast is swinging in for three. We're down to... Wait, what was he at? He was at 40, exactly. He was at 40, yeah, 38. So and he'll no. lose 8 if we get rid of this. If we, yeah, I was just yeah. going to confirm that, which I can get rid of that. Three, down to 35. Beast gets a consequential. He's if up you to can, three. I can hit him with one of these again. Yeah, I can get rid of it. Angel will hit him for 4, down to 31. And he gets a consequential, but I think I'm going to game time to ready him and heal him, and he'll swing for another 4. So down to 27. Sheesh. I, ah, it feels good, I'm glad right? we did one more round. Um, but that's that's as far as I can go this turn. Yeah, sadly I don't have any big swings of damage right now, but I will get rid of the eight. Okay. Oh, fantastic. So that brings him down to That 20. is a that's, big swing That is damage. a big swing of damage. That's down eight. to 19. Um, taking down shields. Wow. Whatever. All right, and then, you know what? Just to have more damage. You can deal with yeah, let's see what you got. We'll put Nightcrawler out yes. there. Yay! It's been three Love for Nightcrawler. that. Want to show him yeah. up? I know they've seen him, but... This is great, though, because now you can attack with all these guys, all at plus one. So that's nine. That is, get it down to ten. We're, we're, we're maybe finishing him off this turn. We might do it. I might be up with all the allies yeah. I have. Well, you want to just swing in with everything right. you got there? So there's three, four, five, six, yep. seven, eight, nine. Shazam. There we go. Down to ten. This is a, to me, my X-Men kind of turn. All right. Um, let's see. So this has gone a little bit better than it should have. Four. I feel like this has gone too. very... So, <laughs> three attack with Phoenix is becomes four. four. Down to six. Down to six. Three with Cannonball. Cannonball is gone. Okay, nope. that's... Uh, no, no, no. It's only when, it's only when they're oh, attacked. Oh, it's when they're attacked. attacked. Yeah. Down to three. Down to three. Well, these two could, or I could just summon Banshee for the heck of it. And yeah, I mean, him, that sounds like fun. Have him swoop just in. Just do it. Let's see. Banshee have, have Banshee just swoop squeals. in. Let me, let me show him off. <laughs> have Banshee swoop in and, deal, and steal the kill that with the last so three. Thematic. And that's it. We did what? it. Wow. Ooh. Nice job. All right. That was, that was well done. Jeez. And that was record time for a scenario in this game party. <laughs> This is a strong team. Yeah, this was good. It, it, yeah, it really helped getting the allies out. Sometimes I don't draw them. Yeah. Uh, rescuing an ally was great. Boosting the health so, was helping, too. Mm -hmm. That helped them stay for much longer. Gosh, I love game I, time. I also feel like I wasn't as focused on allies as I should have been because I misunderstood that 
as a when they die or when they're defeated. Oh. They're put under there. It's just when they're no, attacked. No, it's just when they're defeated by an enemy attack. Jeez. Well, that changes things, too. Yeah. But, yeah. All well, right. I will say it, it probably went a little smoother because we didn't reveal a lot of minions. That's we, true. There are a lot of minions. We, we got just didn't reveal We got a lot, lot of minions as boost cards. Yep. 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 When they so come up. very yeah. lucky. I only had yeah. one attached to me the entire game. Mm -hmm. I got I got two of them and he got two, two but they were at different well. times. I had the two at once, yeah. but we we had just responded to them so quickly. Right. Yeah, there there are 10 minions in the discard pile and I think we saw four of them in play. So five. It was like, there was five. Five. was there saw five. Yeah. 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 Jeez. All right. Cool. So well, luck, some luck that was there. fun. There's that was the luck. second scenario. Uh this Board state is great. I kind of want to take a picture of this. As Caleb is literally oh, as Caleb is putting I'll stuff away. I'll throw it. Whatever. Apart here. Not a I'll, big deal. Yeah, with too. just two cards under, we definitely controlled the threat, which you know Phoenix does really well. Being able to tank oh, the attacks with Banshee Colossus. Yeah, you can have Banshee. Yeah. Exhausted. If you want to do the Very actual tired. the actual Very final tired. board state. All right. Cool. Well, thank you both yeah. for joining and playing. It was fun. And now we've got that thing that I said we were going to talk about right at the top of the stream. So I'm gonna let Peter talk about it. We're not announcing, or we're not officially launching this until the first. Yes, yeah, September first. So tell us a little bit about what this campaign we're doing is. Well, the campaign is an apt choice of words. It is because <laughs> it is the our first first go at a Marvel Champions campaign contest, which means that if you're a fan of this game. You can go out and choose any three to five scenarios that already exist in the game that are in products that are released. So anything up through Sinister Motives up to this point. You can pick any scenarios, three to five, put them in whatever order you want, choose whatever modular and counter sets you want for them, and come up with any sort of campaign rules that you want to do to tie them together and make your own campaign log. And then you send that to us. And there will be prizes. Yes, there will. And yeah, and we're going to be officially launching that on September 1st. There will be an article that comes out on our page, which I wrote, that will <laughs> uh, go into details about what that involves, what you'll get out of it, uh, and just the exact guidelines for it, because there are guidelines. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I don't think there's anything else I need to say about no, it. No, 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 no. That was that was a good spoiler. We've spoiled some things yeah. from the second scenario, from a couple of the hero packs that people haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. We've now spoiled this, mm -hmm. and we can leave the rest of their imaginations until the first. Yeah. So typically at the end of the stream, we answer any hanging questions. Sure. There are a couple of those really quickly. Um... And I, I think that they said to wrap it up at the end of the round before I asked if we could go another round, but I wasn't paying <laughs> attention to it. We <laughs> understand. Got him. Hey, that was, we actually. That's not a question, though. So. Right? Fair. That's, fair. This is... So um, let's see. Da 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 da. There was, there's definitely one. I thought that there was another one that I missed earlier. What's but our, I what's think our we're first good. One I think here? we're good. So this is Boom Boom's ability. Like, how did you come up with the idea for that? Oh, yeah, like I was mentioning just uh, as I was explaining her power. Um, so I, I grew up on these books, you know, like been reading mm -hmm. them since I was a kid. And there was one particular issue that I can't tell you which one it is. It's from an early Uncanny X-Men run where uh, the, the new mutants and the X-Men are kind of being forced to all live together. This is one of those times where the mansion's been destroyed, so they're all like living in like the underground and... They're just stepping over each other's toes, and Iceman's kind of being an Iceman, you know, just, just <laughs> bugging everybody. And so Boom Boom, to get back at him, actually, like, as he's walking away, just kind of, like, grabs the back of his pants and drops one of her little Boom Boom powers in there and just starts counting down as he walks away into the bathroom. <laughs> you know, it's like, like you, you see the bathroom door close, and you just hear her counting, like, three, two, and then from the bathroom, it's like, ow! You know, like, and that was such a visceral moment for me. That I was like, well, she needs to have some kind of power that, you know, yeah, you attack the enemy... But then you drop the little bomb on it, just wait till the end of the round, and then, pff, ow! <laughs> nice. So, so does that trigger at the end of the round? It comes from being an enormous nerd. <laughs> so does that trigger at the end of the round? Uh, at the end of the phase. Okay. Yep. So it yeah. would trigger before this went back to your discard. Correct, yeah. Right. It, would, it would get boosted by that. Yeah, but you had uh, you had uh, Banshee swoop in and finish it off. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we could have we could have waited for Boom to blow him up, but it was probably the right choice to get Banshee on the table. Right. 
yeah. Show off some more stuff. All yeah. Right, one last thing. Another Is one. Is there one card that we can show off that we haven't shown on stream yet in terms of like an ally? Does it have to be from this? Thing? Because we've got a bunch of cards <laughs> that are just laying around the office. <laughs> I don't Asking know what we've shown and what have we one. haven't. Yeah, Peter's better to answer I this have than one. me. Uh, this was one that I did not show in her article and didn't get a chance to play. Oh, okay. But it's uh, Mental Paralysis. All right. So oh, tell me yeah. What mental Paralysis is. So, okay. hero form only, attached to a non-elite minion. The attached minion cannot activate. As a forced response, after you flip to alter ego form, you discard the card. So you basically just turn just off a minion something. For, the, for until you go back to alter ego. Yeah, in my mind, Phoenix is like the ultimate control. Oh yeah, with, when you, with all when you like pair the, it with when you pair it with this card too, yeah. like be, with between those control. two, between those two, she can basically just negate two minions. Right, she can lock one down. She can turn one into an ally. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny because we were we were talking about something behind the scenes about future design space, and we're like, oh, this card could get even better, but I can't say more than that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but it's already pretty good. When you uh, sometimes you know minions have nasty like when defeated abilities, right? And you're like, I you know I'd rather not trigger that. So how about I'll just you know capture it? Or they have nasty when revealed abilities that you don't want to put back in the deck, right? And have it get shuffled out again. Or they just have a lot of health and could be a good, right a good a good body to have on your side. Yeah. Cool. All right. Wonderful. Was, were there any other questions? No. Nope, no. Nope, that was it. The other one was kind of answered earlier. So we're good. okay. Awesome. We're good. So thank you both for yeah, joining yeah. today. Peter, I had fun. first live stream. Yeah. You, you did great. You, the nerves that you said might be there yeah. maybe, didn't maybe appear to be, so you're all good. Luck. Maybe that's why we did so well. First, first time right? stream. Um, first I, stream luck. I have... Or maybe it was Josh playing by the correct rules now <laughs> and not nerfing himself with the attack again. <laughs> Leave me I, alone, okay? I don't know what it is, but I have, I have dodged drawing Shadow of the Past for most, but like 90% of the games that I've played of this game. Oh, like, it makes I, such a difference too. And that was I've, the idea though. I think I've only pulled it like le less than five yeah. times and all, out of all the games that I've played. That was the honest intent like behind the card was that, you know, it's not gonna come up all the time. But right. when it does, it's gonna make yeah. an impact. And I think that would have made an impact. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we were lucky enough yes. to, to pull it as a boost Yeah, we card. actually managed to win before going through the whole deck. Right, even. that was also really good. That was, we, we were on speed dial. All right. Well, cool. Well, again, thank you again for joining. Yeah. Yeah. Thank all of you for joining us. And follow us on our socials, as always, so that you can get updates for when we're going to be coming back and live streaming again. And we will see you all next time. Cool. Bye.